Sydney Architecture Festival has been a huge success this year. We've had hundreds of people doing tours, having discussions, watching panels and walking through the one-to-one, -one, looking at the way we live in Sydney and the way that people live in other parts of the world. To really think about that question of how much space do we need in our homes. We've taken Sydney Festival to the global stage this year. With Global One to One, we're expanding our search for a better understanding of architecture in the world. I think it's really interesting that you're able to live in spaces which are actually so small, especially in like the type of society that we live in today, because like, there's so much population in the world that we're probably going to have to result into something like this. So yeah, it's just interesting. I think it's excellent. I like the idea of being able to, you know, see what's like a standard, you know, like Australian home and then get a feel for how compact other people sort of live. Well, it's been really great. We've had a lot of interest, a lot of people trying to understand the space and how they could use it. Would the London one fit in the Australian one as well? Yeah, because that's 40 and this is 58. Yeah. Wow. Like we live in an apartment similar to it, like it's a kind of a studio and it's, you know, it's perfect for just us two. People have been sitting on the toilets trying to understand the beds and it's, it's kind of funny to see how people turn into children when they come into these spaces and really try and jump on everything and experience things. Walking in, the, this is the kitchen, Tim, and that is the bathroom. That is the bathroom. That's one of the bathrooms. That's a bathroom. Virtual reality is so new for people, so any time they pick the phone up in their hands and look around, it makes it a lot easier for people to interact and understand how the spaces are. It looks much bigger in the virtual reality than it does when you're just looking at the 2D dimension, like even though you're walking around in it, but when you see it in virtual reality, it is, it's great. This is so cool. Yeah. I think it's quite interesting to see that the average Sydney home fits the average apartment in Sydney and Shanghai and London all in the one. So it's quite scary actually, quite surprising that we build homes this, this large. I feel like we could probably utilise space a little bit better. People live like this all the time and they live well. So it's just a matter of changing the old brain. The thing is, I don't really care about how much space you have in an apartment because you have your life outside. I actually have been downsizing my life, so uh, this kind of makes me nervous. I just don't need the extra space. A lot of people have rooms they don't even go into. But the whole point of Global One to One is to engage with the public, to understand their feedback and to incorporate that into the designs of the future.